In this next lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the shipment preparation features within X3. Uh, the shipment preparation uh, tools within the system um, are, they basically allow you for your allocated sales orders to generate a preparation plan so that the warehouse manager can get some visibility into all the sales orders that are scheduled to ship. Um, as we go through this, you're going to see that there's different filters that can be set when you're generating these preparation lists to group, the, group them on different basis. Um, then through this also, we, we're going to be able to generate our picking tickets to distribute to the um, pickers, um, as well as perform our packaging steps. So to start, let's come under our sales block, then go to the shipment preparation, and we're going to start with this uh, option here for the generation of the preparation lists. So to start here in the site field, we're going to go ahead and specify the warehouse site that we want to do our picking on. Um, one can come in and assign a picker. So if you want to generate your um, uh, list uh, on a picker by picker basis, one can do that. Uh, this picking date until uh, represents the cutoff date that you want to set. So in this case, it's going to be all orders that need to be picked uh, through the 7th of August. Uh, on We have uh, a, a setting on here where um, the sales orders that get brought into the preparation list, um, or it's only going to show the allocated orders. In here you'll see that there's different filters that we can run uh, across customers as well as customer uh, ship to addresses. If your organization has different routes uh, that you keep track of, you can generate a uh, preparation list on a route by route basis. Uh, you can filter, you can generate a, um, a preparation list um, on a carrier by carrier basis can filter across a range of uh, sales order numbers. The delivery priority um, from and to. So you could, uh, you know, if it was desired, you could come in and uh, run a preparation list for those orders that were flagged as being either urgent or critical. Then come in and do a subsequent run of those nor uh, the orders that are just normal. Um, we also have this uh, feature in here for preparation code. Uh, these preparation codes can be set up and basically and it's, a, it's an additional grouping mechanism that we can have. Um, you can set up your preparation codes on the basis of either product category, or customer category, um, or the product statistical groups or the customer statistical groups. So in essence it's another means of allowing you to um, kind of filter on your result set in the preparation list. Okay. Over on the right hand list here we have flags to indicate what type of orders we want to do the preparations on. In this case we have the loan orders and this just the standard sales orders included. You also have the ability to do it for your subcontracting orders. Down here in the formula section here um, this formula um, here allows you to come in and you can use your formula wizard so you can actually establish different types of picking codes that are based upon addition in the system. Okay, in here under your formula type you'll see in here that we have a, a formula code that we can set up uh, for our picking results. Okay, so again another popular feature within the list. Uh, down in this section here uh, in the parameters this is uh, the different bases upon um, we can break out our picking lists so uh, you know the default behavior is going to be you're going to get one picking ticket for each sales order but if you wanted to break it across ship twos, break it um, across routes, breaking on picking code um, you could you have those options uh, we also have a simulation option down here if you just wanted to get a simulation report of the items that would show up on the preparation list before you actually generate it. Over here if we want to go ahead and do a uh, printout of our preparation form we can go ahead and do that at, at this point. Okay, 
do our previewer here. Choose that one. Um, then at this point also, um, if we wanted to uh, straight away create the picking tickets um, to associate with this preparation form, we would have the capability of doing it through this setting right here. We could turn that on. We can specify the form of allocation that we want to take place on these picking tickets, whether it be a global allocation or a detail. Okay. Um, then, in addition, if we wanted to print out uh, the picking tickets, you know, as we run this process, we could go ahead and flag the print accordingly and specify our picking ticket report in the output destination. Uh, for purposes of this test here, um, we're not going to generate the picking tickets, rather we're just going to generate the preparation form. So we can kind of show you some of those steps. Okay, I'm going to come up here and click on OK. And we'll go ahead and open that up with our Adobe. And here is the preparation list. So this list here has got your shipping site. Here's the prep list number. Um, here are all the sales orders that are on the list. The respective products, quantities. You got your picking date, uh, route numbers, the carrier that the goods are going to go on. Okay, ship to information. And down here at the bottom you get a, a listing of the total number of products to be picked. Okay. So again, this can be a useful document to give to your uh, pickers. So let's go ahead and close this up. And we'll go ahead and log out of here. Here's that log file that I was referring to. Again, giving you information relative to the sales orders and the uh, picking list number. Okay. So we have the preparation list generated now. So now we can come over to this option here for the preparation plan. And again, in the upper left hand corner, we're going to specify the warehouse site. Come down into the preparation list field. And being that I only have one list outstanding now, that's the one that pulls up. Okay then that in part is going to show me uh, everything that is on that list. So I have a, these are all with the status of in process at this point. Uh, we got our sales order numbers, product information, quantities, we got the allocation types from the sales order. Okay. All the particulars. So at this point, if there's certain orders that I, you know, wish to exclude, I can go ahead and, you know, just uncheck them. Okay. Over here on the right hand side, I have, you know, an include all option, which will check everything for me. I have an exclude option that I can use if I want to do that, get rid of all the items. Now, if at this point in time, if I went ahead and saved it, that's going to go ahead and gener or excuse me, delete the preparation list. So I'm going to include them back in there. Uh, if there's any details that I need, um, you know, in terms of investigating the sales order, I can through my action button on the line, I can go ahead and tunnel back to the sales order. Okay. So as of right now, if I'm satisfied with uh, what I'm seeing there, I'm going to go ahead and do a save. Then next here, I'm going to come down and click on this picking ticket. And when I click on the picking ticket, that is what in part is going to go ahead and assign for me all my picking ticket numbers. Okay. Alrighty, so again, this is preparation list number two. Then I have picking list starting at 292 through 296. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. And I'm going to come over to this option now for picking tickets.
Okay. So in here on this menu, in here on this menu, I'm going to come over to my left list here and I'm going to go ahead and just call up all my uh, picking tickets that have an in process status. Okay. So I can go ahead and click on one of those and that's going to pull up the details. Here's my pick, uh, pick ticket number, picker, ship site, the associated prep list. Here's the company and address that I'm shipping the goods to. I have the details of my on my order. Okay. So at this point, if I want to go ahead and print out all these picking tickets, I'm going to come over to my printer icon, then come to record, and I'm going to choose this top op top option, the Bond Prep A picking tickets. Okay. Now in here, um, I could go ahead and just do a print at this point, and this would print out just the one picking ticket for me. But let's say um, for this exercise, we want to go ahead and print out all those picking uh, list or tickets that are associated with this uh, preparation list. What I can do is I can simply just come in here on the picking ticket. I'm going to remove those parameters. I'm going to remove the customer's parameters. So in essence, I'm uh, printing out all the tickets that are associated with this preparation plan 002, you know, that have the in process status. I'm going to come over here and click on my print. Okay. And that in part will go ahead and pull up my picking tickets. So here's the one for the 292. There are all my my customer information here, delivery information, I uh, got all my product details contained herein. Okay, for each one of my tickets here. So I in part could go ahead and print those out and distribute them to the pickers on the floor. So at this point, um, the picking tickets have been sent out to the floor. The warehouse personnel has went ahead and picked the goods and they brought the goods down to say a staging area on the shipping floor. Now I'm sure um, from time to time um, what you're going to encounter is um, the picking tickets going to indicate in many cases um, you know the particular lot or from the particular location that the uh, picker should obtain the goods but lo and behold the goods weren't there so the picker had to get the goods from a different location now in those scenarios what you can do here is if you come on down to your picking ticket line uh, the picker or whoever does the data entry they can go ahead and click on the action button then come into this option right here for stock issues and that brings us over to the stock uh, issue entry menu and down in here we have the details on the location that the goods should have come from. So what I can do is if I go ahead and click on clear, that'll go ahead and remove those details. Then if I subsequently do a refresh here or update, okay, over here in my stock selection left list, that's going to give me, um, you know, a register of all my other lots or you know if the goods aren't law controlled simply the location this is that the inventory is at so if I scroll over I can say okay I have some other inventory here in this location uh, QUA01 you know 4500 units so I can simply go ahead and click on the one that the um, picker indicated that reloads my grid then I can come back here and do a subsequent save there then save on the ticket level that in part will update the delivery or excuse me, the uh, picking ticket. Then at this point, uh, what I w would want to do is to basically flag this picking ticket as being eligible for delivery now. So to do that, I'm going to come over uh, to my right list here and click on this deliverable button. Okay, and you'll notice that when I click on that button, that actually updates the status. Uh, on this picking ticket to a status of deliverable. Okay.
So the next thing um, that a lot of uh, individuals or companies will want to do at this point, um, we flag the uh, picking ticket as being deliverable. Now what we can do is come over here to this packaging uh, step and we're going to go ahead and click on packaging and this is where uh, you know if it's appropriate for your organization we can come in to declare um, in this case these hundred bike pumps um, how we package these for shipment so probably the one of the easiest ways to come about and do that is I can come over on my action button and come to this option here for automatic packaging then up here in my package field I can go ahead and click on that and you have your different uh, packages that we have set up in the system and again this is a user divine list that you can set up for <clears throat> whatever's appropriate for your organization I'm going to say we're packaging the goods in this wooden container Then down in this block here it's the quantity for packages so let's just say I can get 10 of these or say 25 of these per uh, wooden container then that in here is going to instruct me, okay, that means that there's going to be four packages being generated. I come over and click on OK. Okay, so now I broke my 100 units out into four different lines, four different sequences. I go ahead and do a save on that. Then it went ahead and assigns a package number for all these items. And we also have our SSCC code got our weight information and so forth okay once that's all set we can go ahead and close out of here and that in part uh, will complete for us uh, the process of um, generating our preparation plan uh, processing the picking ticket and packaging the uh, goods for transportation um, in our next lesson, we're going to be taking a look at um, how to then in part create our de delivery records and um, execute all the processes necessary to relieve the inventory, the shipped inventory from the system.